But what I would say to, to progressives who are mad at Chuck Schumer, guys, elections have consequences. Yep. We're not in the majority. As much as you wish in some fantasy land, we could control things and force DACA through a shutdown. That is not how governing so works. works. And if you're, and if you're going to go vote for someone else, who are you going to look for to better defend? That's a great question. To better actually, defend Marie, you, possibly when you could answer. Well, that's. I would make the argument that to progressives that there are two parties who run in elections, and the only party, I would argue, who has made DACA a priority is Democrats. And you may be mad at Chuck Schumer, but unfortunately, governing is much harder than carrying signs and protesting. So and welcome, being welcome, the to the, welcome to the wonderful world of primary politics. I know, <laughs> which I is know. where Democrats are, are going. But we all hate, but you know, actually, Jim I think on Jim crime. It's, uh, I actually think this is a Political momentary crime blip. I actually don't think you're going to see a lot of primaries before 2018. The midterms, it's, it's almost too late for Would that. Would you have wanted to see Chuck Schumer hold out no. for more? I, on Friday, I think on this show said, if we get an explicit commitment from Mitch McConnell to take up DACA, then we should not shut the government down. I, I think Chuck By Schumer the way, made the right decision.